When you're downsizing your property or moving to a new property, your first thought may be to just to toss everything, right? Get rid of all the small stuff. Get Just throw it all in a dumpster and buy all new when you get to the new place. Look, I get it. I've been there. But in this video, we're going to talk about why that's a bad idea and why you really may need to keep some of that small stuff that's been hanging around for a while. And we're going to do that right about now. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michael White. I'm a realtor with Acorn Property Group, powered by Keller Williams, and I'm based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And if this is your first time on my channel and you're interested in learning about all things real estate, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon. I post new videos every week and you don't want to miss anything. Today we're going to talk about why it's a bad idea just to get rid of everything when you're downsizing or moving to a new property. Look, I get it. You may be tempted to get rid of all your clothing, all your knickknacks, all your dishes and silverware and cleaning supplies and all the little small stuff that you've been collecting over the years. It's really tempting just to throw it all away and start all over new when you get to the new property. I get that. But here's why it's a bad idea. Here are my three reasons why it's a bad idea to do that. Number one, you don't know what you may need. Look, just because you move into a new place, it doesn't mean you're going to quit eating, right? So you're going to need dishes, you're going to need silverware, you're going to need utensils, glasses, that kind of thing. So you might as well just keep that kind of stuff, right? Don't throw it away. Um, also, you're going to need some furniture, right? You're still going to have to need a dining room table, a place to eat. So why get rid of that? Why buy something new when you've got a perfectly good one to get rid of? Reason number two why it's a bad idea just to toss everything. You don't know how, exactly how much space you have until you get there. So look, I get it. You're moving from a large house to a small house. And you may not need four bedroom suits, but you're probably going to need at least two to three, right? So keep them. There's no need to buy brand new beds and all that kind of bedroom furniture when you've got perfectly good stuff. You're going to need a living room sofa, maybe a love seat or a chair. You're going to need a TV. So why toss something that's perfectly good when you, when you got it? Reason number three why it's a bad idea to toss everything you're not in your right state of mind. Look, moving, downsizing, whatever you want to call it, it's stressful. And you've got a lot of things to do, a lot of details. You're, you're leaving a property you, you're, you've been in for 30 years or more, right? And that's emotional. And so you're really not going to have a clear head until you get moved into your new property and you're going to be there for a month or so. So don't get rid of anything until you, you have your head back in the game, right? Let's talk about some things you should keep. Keep items that are in current use. Keep any item that you use seasonally. Keep any sentimental type items. And then keep any item with a practical purpose. So what should you get rid of, right? I know you can't keep everything. Get rid of items with no practical purpose. Get rid of broken items. And get rid of items you haven't used in two years, but they don't have a sentimental value to you. And then get rid of any kind of old clothing, that you can no longer wear or just in bad shape. If you like this video, then hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and consider subscribing to my channel. I post new videos every week and you don't want to miss anything. Thanks again and I'll see you on my next video.